There is no bigger test in world rugby than when the world champions are in town. The challenge is always laid down by the All Blacks, a challenge well and truly accepted by England, looking to beat New Zealand at the home of rugby for the first time in 10 years. England started brightly matching the All Blacks' physicality and settling their opponents, and they secured the first points of the game through Owen Farrell. His opposite number, however, was having an off day from the start. Dan Carter back from injury, failing to land a second rather simple kick by his standards. He's never lost against England. Owen Farrell in for the injured Toby Flood extended England's lead with a wonderful drop goal as England grew in confidence. Three extra coming from further positive approach play. Very much New Zealand's second best going into half time. Twickenham believing this could end in something special. With Farrell extending the lead further after the break, dare you write off the All Blacks in search of a 10 straight win over England? The response from the world champions was a brutal one. The first try scored by Julian Surveyor, his 11th try of 2012. England stretched, quick ball, and Surveyor in the corner after being reviewed by the television match official. Their 100th try against England. Carter converted and before you knew it, the All Blacks powered their way back into the match. Corey Jane at the centre of New Zealand's onslaught, off the wing, and it was Kieran Reid who would eventually touch down, scoring at Twickenham just as he did in 2008, and it was game on. But the response of Stuart Lancaster's side was one of equal quality to that of their visitors. A superb break from Brad Barrett breaking the All Blacks line to link up with fellow centre Manu Tuolangi. Returning back to the Saracens man to score his first try for England. And what a time to get it. Twickenham was rocking. If that was good, it got even better for the home side. Manu Tuolagi breaking through Dan Carter, McCaw and Smith with Chris Ashton in support, supplying the Saracens winger for his first try for England since the World Cup. There was no catching Ashton. The familiar Ash the Splash celebration saw England go further ahead. England had never scored more than 31 points against the All Blacks. That was to change when Tuolaki, involved in England's two tries already, intercepted Kieran Reid's pass on the New Zealand 10-metre line. His ninth try for England, adding to scores against Fiji and Australia. It was turning into an afternoon which would see records ended and the world champions humbled. There was to be a late flurry from the number one ranked team. Julian Surveyor scoring his second try of the afternoon, showing some great hands in the build-up. However, it was too little too late, and Stuart Lancaster had his first win over a side from the Southern Hemisphere and ended New Zealand's unbeaten run.